Hello, this is Father David, here with day 14 of the Nativity Fast. Our uh, meditation today comes from St. Nikolai Velimirjevic, St. Nikolai of Zicha, uh, a Serbian uh, bishop of the 20th century who actually served here in America at St. Tikhon's Monastery and Seminary in South Canaan, Pennsylvania, uh, sometimes known as the Serbian Chrysostom, uh, a man who wrote uh, achingly beautiful odes, uh, love odes to God uh, during his ministry. I encourage anyone who can, it, a bit of a commercial if you'll indulge me, uh, his book, Prayers by the Lake, uh, is just one of the uh, most beautiful um, uh, collection of prayers that I've ever read by St. Nikolai. Uh, and that can actually be purchased by Eighth Day Books up in uh, Wichita. And so I encourage, uh, it's a new printing, it's recently back in print. Uh, but with today's meditation coming from him, I thought I would be remiss to fail to uh, promote that just gorgeous insight into the heart of a man who sought after God like Saint Nikolai did. Now, to his meditation, he says today, learn from a little child. When he is attacked by someone in the presence of his parents, he does not return the attack but runs to his parents and bursts into tears. He knows that his parents will protect him. How do you not know that which a little child knows? Therefore, do not be vengeful. Do not return evil for evil, but look to your father and cry to him. Only in this way will you guarantee victory for yourself in the clash with evil men. And this is, to me, uh, reminiscent of our baptismal rite in the Orthodox Church. And you know, we begin in the back of the church. We turn to face outside, out the back door, away from the altar which is behind me, which faces east. Uh, and even in churches where it doesn't uh, face east, According to the compass, we consider this liturgical east. But be that as it may, so we face the west, where the sun sets and the darkness comes, and we spit upon and we renounce the evil one, Satan. Now we've just declared war on the enemy of our souls, the one who is far mightier than any of us. And yet it's at that moment where we then turn and after the person who is being baptized uh, has just said I do renounce Satan and has spit in the ancient world and even today of course sort of the ultimate insult the ultimate disrespect it's almost like you know we've declared war or we've we've stood up to the schoolyard bully you know, we've, we've just picked a fight with one who's much bigger and nastier than ourselves. And then we turn. And the next word that the priest says, do you unite yourself to Christ? I do unite myself to Christ. You know, we are, as St. Nikolai says, running to our parents. If you're on the, the schoolyard and you spit in the bully's face and he comes after you, you run to the teacher. You know. This is, in essence, our uh, refusal to pay attention to the enemy, our refusal to preoccupy ourselves with rebuking the devil or speaking against the evil in the world. Rather, we as Christians need to have as our focus the good one, the truth, the life, the way, our Lord and God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Our eyes need to be fixed upon Him. Not that we are denying that there's evil in the world, 
But we understand that the answer to that, the response to that, the proper response, can only be when we focus on the good Lord that we serve. There was a uh, story where, you know, St. Paisius, uh, he was, or forgive me, St. Porphyrios, he was in his cell and one of his students was all upset about the Antichrist, the mark of the beast, the end of the world. And the saint looked at him and said, can you look at me sitting in my bed? Can you come and sit in this bed right now? He says, no, Father. Well, why not? Well, because you're there. He says, what if I were to get up and leave? He's like, well, then I could easily sit down in your bed, but right now I would crush you. He said, exactly. He said, this is like the human heart. If Christ is seated and throned there, then the evil one cannot come in and make his home there. So we shouldn't be worried about the end of the world and all of this and the, end, and the 666 and the mark of the beast and the end times and the antichrist. Because if Christ is in our hearts, we don't have to worry about being a home for the evil one. So this is for us a remembrance that when we are attacked by the evil one, when he comes against us, we should not be expected to turn and face him and fight against him in all of this. Rather, we turn and we place our focus on Christ. And Christ is the one, it says, who is greater within us than he that is in the world. So God bless you. Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.